running relay. Six to a team. Three girls, three men. One, two, four, and five legs of 110 yards. And runners three and six legs of 220 yards. We're about ready for the start of the running relay in the battle of the network stars. And what a competition it is up to now. A three-way tie. Leading off, legs one. For NBC, Aaron Gray. For ABC, Dick Van Patten. And Ed Asner for CBS. And there they go. And Dick Van Patten is overtaking Ed Asner in the outside lane with ease. Aaron Gray trying to hold together but falling behind. Van Patten will pass off to Christy McNichol, giving her a good lead. And the others are Randy Oates for NBC. And Jan Smith is for CBS. But it's all Christy McNichol. The lead builds up. She passes off to Willie Ames. And ABC is piling up a lead. Willie Ames is going against Judy Norton Taylor and Greg Evigan. There is Willie Ames. And you can see that lead stretch out. Greg Evigan behind him, trying to close the gap. Willie Ames off by himself. But suddenly, Willie Ames either relaxes or he has run himself out. As a fighter punches himself out. And Evigan closed down to some degree. Now, it's Shelly Smith for ABC, Sarah Purcell for NBC, and Kathy Lee Scott for CBS. And look at Sarah Purcell go. She is closing down the gap on Shelly Smith. And she has run herself a tremendous lap. And here's the matchup edge. Pat Wayne against Joanna Cassidy. Joanna desperately trying to hang on. But Pat Wayne passing her easily. And so Pat Wayne becomes the key factor because of what Purcell did for NBC. And now in the final lap, it's Max Gale of ABC right there trying to pass Gil Gerard of NBC. But Gerard holds on. CBS is third, and what an event this has been through all of the previous confrontations. As Max Gale congratulating Gil Gerard. Well, let the joy be unconfined. You made up for the travesty of the obstacle here. And, oh, great anchor leg, and it wasn't easy because Max Gale yeah. was hanging in there. I could hear him breathing down my back. <laughs> oh, oh, way. You are smoking. Oh. Let me tell you something, baby. Come here, Sarah. You, you may have been us. the key to that race, That's making right. up the distance after really? Willie Ames' leg. Really? And you've got to admit, I told you you were the key. Didn't oh, I? thank you, Howard. <laughs> you were just oh. great. Oh. Bobby, your strategy was perfect yes, as sir. team captain. I want yes, to congratulate sir. you. I have no idea why Dick Van Patten and Ed Asner were running. <laughs> yeah, oh, what are they doing out there? Dick Van, Van Patten, he gave ABC a big... The key was, again, the women, Sarah right. Purcell. The women, the women. How about Sarah? Huh? How about up that ground. Hey, it was fantastic. No, it was a beautifully, it was a beautifully one run race, you know. That was a beautiful thing. He did run the last That's hundred. That's right. I'm only good for a hundred. <laughs> Pat, you finally became a winner. Thank you, Harvey. It feels so good. <laughs> I'm here with Max Gale, who ran a great final lap in the 220. But Max, you ran in socks. How yeah. come? I figured I needed every advantage I could. You mean the light of the load? The, the light of the load. I'm carrying a few extra uh, resources around that I didn't used to have, you know? When was the last time you ran in 220? I guess when I was about 18. Will you do it again soon? The 220? Yeah. I'd like to do it again right now. <laughs> well, let's do it again right now. The replay. And watch Max Gale, who Billy Crystal just spoke with running in stocking feet right there he tried to make his move to pass Gil Gerard it, it appeared on the outside that for just the briefest instant he might do it but Gerard was the one who held together and it was Gal who tired ever so slightly and as they came down the stretch it was Gil Gerard pulling away with the victory a tremendous effort
as NBC moved ahead in the competition. And now, here's our friend Tweaky. Mr. Conrad at NBC, 400 points. Mr. Van Patten at ABC, 375 points. And again, Mr. Asner at CBS, very close with 350 points. The football competition will determine who competes in the tug of war.